If you're my client that I made these videos for and you know who you are, then you should be tired of hearing me talk by now because this is the third video of the day. But we are now here at Lions. There is the speedway behind me that way. Um, again, it's somewhat inactive. It's not like they uh, use it every single day. Uh, during the summer months, every Friday night, I believe. Every now and again on a weekend. I don't know. So uh, let's turn this around and get into Lions. So side yard here, you got a little privacy fence, but it's not really connected to anything. Uh, all weather wood deck here is great because that will not rot since that is pressure treated wood. So is pretty much everything uh, here, which is great. They didn't go cheap on the materials. But um, yeah, you got like this little bar hidden area right there that's behind this fence. It's kind of different, but not really something I hate. A little storage house right there. You can see my truck and the driveway. No garage to speak of, but you also have a secondary entrance there. You could pull up all the way to that door if you wanted to. So let's go inside and check out the property and you tell me what you think about it. Uh, so you got head bolt timers right here to plug in your vehicle since you don't have a garage and it does get really cold in the winter. You want to set that timer, plug in your vehicle, see the little extension cords at the top of the front of my car, um, plug it in there. And that's going to keep your heating pads and all that stuff on over the winter night. It also doesn't keep them on 24 hours a day because you don't need them that long. So the timer is adjustable so you can have it on for an hour, off for an hour. You do have your electrical panel right here by the front door. A little fire extinguisher as well. But uh, you have like that sticky tile kind of uh, flooring in the entryway, dining room, and kitchen. Also in the bathroom. Right here by the front door, you have your forced air furnace. So that is your primary heat source for the house. It does run off of oil like pretty much everything else does here in Alaska. Um, in the bathroom, you have a small vanity. You could definitely upgrade this if you want, but keep in mind, you do have some limitations with the door there as far as what side you go to. Eat up a little bit more of that space. Behind me is your laundry hookup. So you do have a dryer vent right there, your washer hookups right there, and then above it, you got some cabinetry to hide your detergents. Older style toilet. When I say old, I always mean round. When I say newer, I mean oval. Um, some people call this a female toilet and the other one a male toilet, whatever you want. Um, I just call them older cell toilets. Um, and then this door opens up into the under the stair storage. Great for a linen closet or something like that. But that's also your crawl space that goes into the foundation and underneath the house. Um, great storage down there. A lot of people sleep on the uh, storage ability of uh, crawl spaces. You can put all of your Christmas decorations down there. First thing I want to point out is there is a drywall crack right here. Um, it has been patched up. Uh, I would say it still needs to be sanded down and made it look like it's not there. But it's underneath the window, which is a common area for the drywall to crack, especially during settling. Um, but I want to make you aware of that. Four stair vents, sticky tile flooring again, and then the kitchen's kind of in the middle here. So you could kind of put a dining room table there, but it's always weird to have dining room tables on carpet. Right here might be a better usable space as far as the type of flooring that we have. Uh, moving into here, you have a standard white refrigerator. You have your double basin sink right there. Plenty of cabinetry. I mean, lots of cabinetry here. And then a standard uh, older style rental range. Uh, you can call them rental ranges because that's what we put in all our rental properties. The hood does appear to be vented. That's very uncommon. Um, we love having them vented. You want to get all that smoke and humidity from boiling water out of the house. But for some reason, builders go cheap on that. Living room, you got two lights right there on the ceiling. Decent sized living room, but it's not huge. Uh, if anything, I think you're gonna wanna use that as your TV wall. Put your couch back here, put some off staggered seating. Um, pretty good size, just a little bit more narrow than it is wide, obviously. Uh, stairs are also carpeted. The carpet looks like it was just cleaned. Really good condition. And then coming up to the top of the stairs, we have the rest of the house. So, uh, sorry, I'm skipping over this nook here. So the landing up here is extra large. Uh, I would say normally it's like three foot by three foot. This one's like six foot by eight foot. Um, so a good size landing right here. You can put a little chair over there or something like that. Um, in the bathroom upstairs, you have a built-in kind of little linen closet. Uh, bath fan right there, shub, shub, shower tub combo. 
uh, same little vanity that you have downstairs next to your shub and, and uh, me again in the mirror. Uh, and your older style toilet. These toilets look relatively new. Um, no iron in the water. House is clean. It's good. All right, moving down the hallway. Bedroom number one is right here. This is larger than some of the other guest rooms we've looked at today, so that's nice. Um, I'm standing in the corner right now, and you can see it's a pretty decent size. Um, but it's still smaller than your general master would be. I think this room's maybe one foot by about eight feet larger than you know your standard rooms and then you got your closet right there and lastly the master bedroom or at least the largest bedroom um, double closet this one's more of a cigar shaped room and it's about 80% uh, of the size of the living room so definitely plenty of room for a king size bed with end tables uh, you can put a king size bed here with end tables which kind of I think is intended with the way the outlets are and the sconces um, and then a little bit deeper than your normal closet so I will not call this walk-in but um, I'm standing in the closet right now so you couldn't walk into it uh, but it's just a deeper than normal closet by about a foot uh, backyard not much to show you uh, trees woods great place for uh, animals to go exploring uh, kids to grow up and adults to play games but uh, not much of a yard no landscaping it's just wilderness out back um, that's about it. This house is in good shape. Uh, I'm not feeling any leaning. I haven't seen a lot of drywall cracking. Uh, when I say a lot, I saw the one underneath the uh, window downstairs. Uh, pleasantly surprised by this one. I didn't think I'd like this one as much as I do for you guys, but let me know what your opinion on this is. I'll walk you back to the front door just so you can get another little feel for the layout and kind of you know see it from maybe a different perspective. All right, that concludes our tour. Have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh. Yeah.